So I've actually got some, uh, what you call this, quail eggs, quail egg trays, because I'm planning to use them for my turkey stand roaches. Currently, they are using the normal egg crates, which are what I use for my dubias as well. So yeah, I'm planning on switching them over to the smaller ones, and I mean, because they're small, right? So I don't know, worth a shot, never tried this before. Let's just, yeah, we'll, we'll use this mm, quill egg trays and see how they do. So basically, they are like that and they're a little too tall, but it's okay. We'll try anyway. And also, since I am doing this, wow, look at the egg sacks. Uh, since I'm doing this, I will get the uh, substrate and give to my friend. Just like what we did with the dubias. So, yeah, I have the container over here, which I'll be passing to my friend. get a container to scoop the what you call that the substrate however I am going to be keeping the egg sack because I need them so um, we'll put the egg sack Zina out out okay all right, um, I will put the egg sacks in here. I'll just put them on here. So, let's scoop the egg sacks. There are still going to be like many egg sacks for, for my friend that are in the substrate, which is why I'm giving him the substrate because I don't want the exact to go to waste. Actually, you know what? I'll put the exacts in here. Yeah, I'll we'll put the exacts in here. Can put more. Actually lazy to separate all the egg sacks. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of cold. But yeah. Um, so what I'm going to be doing now is scooping the substrate. There should be some roaches inside as well. Yep, lots of egg sacks. And uh, I will. You know what? Hmm, there's actually not many Turks in the substrate because they there is not many Turks in the substrate because they don't actually burrow like dubia so yeah this is gonna take a while actually because I'm gonna be moving the eight grades there actually maybe Turks in the substrate that I'm going to be giving my friend plus the poop. So, yeah, definitely there will be Turks in the substrate. I'm just scooping like this, and you can see Turks. A lot of these are actually their food. You see, Turks. So, yep, I'll just pass this to my friend. Ooh, that's a lot of egg sacks. Good for him. Because I think he wants to start his own turk colony. I could easily, like, sift the poop and retrieve the egg sacks. <clears throat> but it's fine. I have 
way more turds than I need for now. And a lot of egg sacs still. <clears throat> so my friend will have good use for these. Yeah, quite a few turks for him. <sighs> wow. Okay. I'm taking these egg sacs since they are like together. But there are still tons. I think my friend is getting more egg sacs than I actually have. By the way, for those who are wondering, one egg sac should bring out about between 15 to 40 baby roaches. So, you would imagine how many roaches are going to come out from this. All these for my friend. I could use a, a bucket to scoop these, but I don't have a bucket for this. Not in this room. So for the turks, I clean them out like this once every two months. And uh, you see the female holding her egg sac. She will drop that after she is ready to. Alright, wait, let me... I'm going to... Alright. Lots and lots of egg sacs for my friend. Turk called me, actually died off for quite some time, and then they just started to bloom back. So that's a good thing. Zina, out! Zina! No! No! Stay! She's not allowed to come in here. Alright, so... One more... Scoop and... We can put in the quail egg trays. Actually, you know what? We can put in the trays now because there's not much of poop left. Yeah. Zina. There's a lot and a lot of egg sacs for my friend. All right, so now I am going to be placing the egg trays. Should I place them like this while they're really tall? Hmm, or like this. I don't know. Okay, wait, let's shake off the roaches first. You know what? Maybe I will cut the the egg tray to here. Yeah, I think I'll cut onto... What are you doing? Out! Yep. I'll cut 
cut it until there. All right, done that. It's not very even, but whatever. Now we can put the put them in the roaches. Just shake, them. shake them off this normal egg crate. All right, and then. Wait. Out. All right. You can put them here. Yeah, now it's the perfect height. Okay. But there are still these ones that are blocking the way, so. Damn. Look at that. Zina, out! Very disobedient. Big ones, a little bit too big for these guys. <laughs> Stuck together. Freaking hell. There we go. Yeah, much better. Damn, look at that. I think they will like the quill ones better as well. Ooh. And also these ones I wanted to change because they are like really breaking apart because the roaches, wow, they actually do eat the egg crates as well from what I've noticed. So Yep. Let's shake them all off first. Then we can put the. Oh my gosh. Then we can put the quail one slowly. One more. Oh my gosh. That. Oh, that it was too heavy. That is crazy, man. I didn't even realize I have this much. Insane insanity right there. All right, so now we can put the quail egg crates. <clears throat> I think we can put all right. I don't know. Let's see. Oh, that's a lot of Turks. That is a whole bunch of Turks. So cool. So yeah, for those who don't know, you want to put the egg crates vertical, so when they poop, the poop falls to the ground, and not, because if you put it like this, the poop collects, the moisture, it degrades the egg crates way quicker, so it's better to put them vertically. The new egg crates look way better than the old one. See, the moment I put it down, they're already crawling on it. It's nice. Very, very nice. Put on, crawling up. And yeah, these um, quail egg crates, I can put more compared to those. So better in a way, I guess. Uh, we can 
good. Looking good. Problem is, these things are always stuck to each other. See, now once they have found their little hotel, they don't really stay out in the open because these guys like it dark. So, I think I could put one more. Yeah, they like it dark. So, man, there's some egg yolk. I'm not using that. One more. Slot it here. There we go. Just open it a little bit, let them have space, room to go in the middle, in between. Yeah, I think that looks way better. Don't you guys think? <laughs> so, yep. I guess, see, some freshly molted ones. Pretty neat. Look at this guy. Oh, just came out. So, yeah. That'll be it for this video. I think this is like almost the longest video on this channel. Or if it is, I think it is the longest video on this channel. I still got quite a few quail ones left. We'll use that for the future because these are not going to last forever. Just put back the water dish. There we go. And I'll toss in some food after this. And we are good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one.